Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Rose. Today, we got a little experiment that we're going to try to control the squat with the rear leaf springs using these. So what are these? These are felling wedges used to split wood. Because you're chopping wood, drive the hammer down on it, sledgehammer, and crack the wood open, right? So these are felling wedges. So I'm going to actually put these underneath the rear leaf springs. Where did I get that idea? I got that from Kenny of All Trades on YouTube. If you ever, haven't seen him, check him out. He does a great job. He's got a truck camper. And, uh, and I saw that he had put these on his truck probably about a year ago or so. I saw it in a video and I was like, hmm, that's a pretty good idea. And I've kind of messed around with the idea for a while. And uh, since we really could use some lower stable loads uh, on the truck here to help control the weight of this big camper. Uh, and I already had two of these. Probably we really need four to put one front and rear on each uh, rear spring. But just as an experiment, we're gonna go ahead and raise the camper up off the truck. Right now it's all the way down. I'm gonna put one of these underneath the rear uh, of each leaf spring and uh, see how much uh, it helps when we drop the camper back down on it. See if it uh, gives us another inch or so worth of height. So let's uh, stick these in the springs and see what happens. So real quick, before we put those in, let's go ahead and take a couple measurements just to get an idea of before and after. So right now we're at about 38 and 3 quarters inches to the bottom of the wheel well. And then I'll go ahead and measure the staircase down here at the lowest point. And we're at 10 and 3 quarters inches. So we're going to go ahead and raise the camper and stick the wedges in there and see what happens. So like I said, we're just experimenting today. I'm not putting these in permanently or anything. And I can't say that I would recommend them because that's not what they're made for. But I'm just playing around, trying it out. And if I do decide to try to do this, I will probably have to drill some holes up in, through the leaf springs and then probably uh, put some bolts in these and bolt them down and figure out how I'm gonna actually uh, make them stay on there um, or some other method. But, uh, we're just going to find out these are probably about an inch tall at the thickest part. But what I do like about the idea is the leaf spring kind of lays down across the whole thing versus just like one point of a of a pin going across, you know, for the for the spring to lay on. So I like how a spring could lay flat on that whole thing. Uh, seems like a pretty good idea to me, but uh, we've got the passenger side in, so now I'm going to go put the driver's side in and then we'll put the camper back down and see what happens. Alright so we got both the felling wedges in and we're going to go ahead and lower the camper and see what happens. Alright so the camper is down. I did notice that the spring pack on the front of the springs actually did come all the way down on top of the lower overload spring. However, on the back, it actually did come down on top of the block. So let's go ahead and measure and uh, see how much of a difference it made. So we were at 38 and 3 quarters. So it made about a, about a, we're at 39 and a quarter, so a half inch there. And uh, let's measure the back here of the staircase. We were at 10 and 3 quarters before. Now we're at 11 and 3 eighths. So about 5 eighths of a rise on the rear staircase. So not a lot. Of course, the felling wedge is not real thick, so didn't expect it to make a huge difference. But where it would make a difference is also with. Uh, just the ride as well help stiffen it up keep the lower the spring pack from bouncing down on top of the lower uh, overload spring so uh, which you can't really do that can't drive it but uh, I may try to go ahead and drill some holes in the springs maybe bolt them on and try it see if I can do it if I can I'll let you know Okay, well, it's been about a week, and uh, over the past week, I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple more wedges. 
Uh, so these are my old ones here, but uh, I've already installed the new ones on the front of the springs and uh, This being a Ford I did have to drill out the holes on the leaf springs. I've drilled out three of the four So I'll show you how I uh, Do the last one. It's really not that hard as long as you have the right drill bit and you have a good slow speed on your drill so I did end up buying some uh, Bosch cobalt drill bits from Amazon and those worked great. Um, I got the five, or seven, seven sixteenths bit because the reason I got that was just in case I decide to put some torque lift uh, lower stable loads on there, they should just bolt right in. So I figured I'd go ahead and get that same size. And uh, I am using my just Porter cable uh, drill. It's got two speeds. It's got high and slow, so. When you're drilling steel, you definitely want to drill slow. Uh, generally speaking, wood's going to be high speed, and, and drilling steel, it's going to be uh, slow speed. So this has a nice slow speed so that uh, it just cuts right through it and doesn't, didn't really take that long. Put a jack underneath. I'll show you how I do it. So uh, go ahead and get started. I'm going to also show you how I uh, bolt these onto the leaf springs as well. And uh, let's get to work. So what I've done is, I've went ahead and put some painter's tape up here. I measured one inch back from the end of the spring, marked it, and then marked the center point, basically, to find where I'm going to drill. So, um, again, I'm going to use this 7 16 cobalt uh, drill bit, and I'm going to start by hand, and then I'm going to put a little small floor jack underneath for some extra support. And get it started first. What I am also going to do is put some oil, it's got some motor oil, put on the end of the drill bit occasionally just to give it a little lubrication there. But you can see it's already starting to drill. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to line my drill up here and give it a little support. Or my jack I'm sorry it's not gonna be exactly straight because my drill bits at an angle I'm just gonna squirt some oil up in there instead of pulling the drill bit out Trying to slowly and gently push on it so it'll drill that final little edge on the back side of the spring. There it goes. Alright. It's all done. Not too bad. Here's the drill bit I'm using. It's a Bosch Cobalt drill bit for hardened steel. It's working great. Got it on Amazon. I'll put a link below. This is what I found to work pretty well for me to hold the drill up, put some pressure on it, and uh, drill the hole, and it's working quite well. The drill with the bed is a little too long to put on top of my floor jack, so put that board down there, put a little leverage on it, slightly pump it up at the same time, and it works well. My next step, what I did on the front ones, I can do the same here, is I'm just going to put this wedge up in here. And I'm just basically lining up to the back of the spring, and that way it also gives me the thick part to run the bolt through. And this one is kind of loose, 
So I'm just going to try to see if I can hold it in place while I uh, drill the hole up, up through it if, if that's possible. Actually, I might just have to hold it by hand and get started. Drilling through the, the wedge is pretty easy. There we go. So I've taken out this 7 16 drill bit. And I'm going to put in this 5 8 drill bit. And what I've done with the front ones, I found the work. Reason is, I want to be able to flush the the head of that bolt below the the top of the of the wedge here so that it doesn't stick up so what I did on the other ones I just gently try to hold it in place just gently just notch it down by the quarter inch three eighths of an inch have to kind of go back and forth a little bit so it doesn't catch too much And I am using a two inch bolt. I originally bought a two and a half inch and a two inch and decided to use the two inch bolts. Seemed to work the best. And basically just trying to make that so it'll sit flush. To go just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be super strong, although it's enough to hold it in there. So there we go. That'll fit in there, flush with the top of it, and then stick it down through a spring. I got a washer, lock washer, and a nut, and tighten those up. And uh, let's go ahead and put that in place. Now that I've jacked the back of the truck up, I'll try to give me a little bit more space here. Uh, it's still tight to get that bolt in there. Two inch bolt with that wedge so what I'm gonna do is same thing I did on the front I use a crowbar just to give a little bit more leverage here sorry about that give a little bit more leverage to open it up just a little bit to uh, give me some room to, to get that in Just, there we go. Just enough to pry it, pry the spring down a little bit to get get that in place. Get the bolt through there. Go ahead and put my my washer, lock washer, and a nut on there. Get my wrench. Snug it down. There we go. That one's in. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out and do the one on the other side and it'll be all set. This side's a little bit more difficult to get to because of the exhaust pipe here. But like I said, I've already got the hole drilled in the spring. So I just need to try to drill the hole in the, in the block. Try to hold it still and drill it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and drill it. Put my 5 8 drill bit back in. Just trying to notch the top of it out. Alright, that should be enough. Put that bolt down in there. Flush it like that. So stick it in. Uh, put my crowbar on this side. See if I can. Uh, there it is. That took a little muscle. I'm not gonna lie. Had to pull on that one to get that spring to come down. So 
Hopefully I can get past the tire. There we go. There we go, it's in. Looks pretty good. So there we go. All four of the wedges are in. Now the true test will be when we load the camper up here and find out how much they help or not. All right, I've got the camper on. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down on the truck and let's see what happens. Alright, we got the camper down on the truck. Let's go ahead and measure the wheel well height as well as the staircase. We were at 38 and 3 quarters before. Now with both blocks in, we are at 39 and 5 eighths. So that gives us 7 eighths of an inch. So almost an inch. And then our staircase down here we were at 10 and 3 quarters before now we are at exactly 12 inches so that's pretty good that gave us an extra inch and a quarter in the back so I'm thrilled about that that worked out good all right that's the experiments working out pretty awesome uh, right now we got about an, almost an extra inch in the back uh, worth of height so I'm excited about that and bring the staircase up a little bit more uh, even better so uh, this is working out pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it rides. It's going to ride firmer for sure because the springs just aren't going to have room to, to flex and move. But uh, I'm used to that with our old Ram 4500. Uh, so not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's a truck. It's going to ride firm, right? So um, I'm just going to give it a, a try again. This is an experiment that I'm doing. I don't recommend you doing it because that's, we're not using these wedges for the intended purpose. Uh, but I'm just going to try it out, see how, it's, how it does. Now I have seen other people uh, do the same thing and some people uh, put uh, zip ties around the, the wedges or they put a metal strap and things like that to hold them in place. I just figured I want to put a bolt through them just to make sure that they don't go anywhere. Um, that's just my method of doing it, right or wrong, I don't know. But that's what I came up with. So uh, I'm not going to go take it for a spin right now. Uh, we did drive around uh, this weekend with the two front ones in and uh, I do feel like it had helped uh, and it did firm it up a little, just a little bit, not much. So we'll find out when we got uh, hit the road with all four of them in. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to see how it works out. And then uh, if it works out, you know, after a couple trips, I'll probably go ahead and paint them, paint them black just so they hide them back in there. So, uh, you know, whatever, not a big deal. Maybe this gave you an idea or uh, again, I do have the holes there, so if they don't work out, I'll just put some uh, torque lift lower step loads in and be done with it. So, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.